EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for June 5th, 2023. It is Monday, back to work. And the Monday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kinsley's Family Market in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. It's June, and at Kinsley ShopRite, they have all of your summer favorites for dad and grad. Stop in and find all types of catering delights for your next barbecue, birthday celebration, wedding, or baby shower. They have a perfect party appetizers, scrumptious smoked meats, fresh produce, delightful summer salads, and fresh chicken and wings. Their bakery girls are busy decorating the delectable sheet cakes, and don't forget the ice cream. Stop on into the world's largest shop right and pick up all of your summer favorites. They're Kinsley Shop right located at 107 Kinsley's Drive in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Monday video forecast. So, uh, back to work today, we have uh, a partly to mostly sunny today, day today, but we will have, unfortunately, some more smoke, wildfire smoke to deal with, and this is going to be rotating through our region today. I don't think it's so much this morning, unless you're in your far northern areas here. Once you get in the afternoon, you'll start to see that vertically integrated smoke come into the region, and that's going to go into the evening hours and part of the overnight before that uh, moves off, and I don't think this is going to be an issue that's going to be lingering into... Tuesday. This is just going to be a Monday issue, but we will have some haze as a result of this. So you will have partly mostly sunny skies, but the haze is going to be an issue, most notably this afternoon, this evening. And today's highs will be in the mid to upper 70s region wide. So it's actually a pretty tight spread in temperatures today compared to what we've been dealing with the past, uh, you know, couple weeks here with the shore points a lot cooler because of the easterly wind flow. Today, the wind is out of the north, so we're not going to have that issue. And that wind is going to carry in this smoke, unfortunately. This afternoon is going to give us, give us those hazy skies. Uh, but it won't be too bad. I mean, it's just going to be, we've been dealing with this many times since uh, early May. Uh, we've had these uh, wildfire smoke episodes here, but we'll be dealing with that again today. And as I move this forward, no precipitation today or tonight. Partly cloudy overnight is what we're expecting. And then when we get into Tuesday, we have this system here off to the north here that's going to kind of retrograde a little bit and could give you a few showers, just a few. And when I say few, and I mean stray, it's not going to be much as we get over the Nail High Res Future Simulated Radar. Starting us off here at noon on Tuesday, watch. This is a composite reflectivity, which picks up on absolutely everything. So it's going to pick up on uh, drizzle, even the lightest shower. Uh, but as we move this forward through the afternoon, you see a few little blips here popping up. This is a stray brief light shower, five-minute shower type thing, and that's it if you do even get it. And I wouldn't hold my breath for that. I know we need rain, and we're kind of heading toward drought conditions. Some areas uh, over the weekend did alleviate some of those concerns because we had some thunderstorms move through a few select areas it was a very few and far in between type deal though so most of the region as a whole did not do anything as far as the drought is concerned so as this moves through here on tuesday afternoon you could have a pop-up instability related shower but i wouldn't hold my breath with that and uh some across maryland and far south as well and then that's it that's it it's all we have for tuesday that's it okay uh so once that moves off once we get to wednesday uh we are back to Mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the middle 70s. So the next couple days are pretty much similar. 75 to 79 today, 75 to 80 on Tuesday. And then I think we're going to be in either side of the middle 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday across the entire region. And no chance for precipitation during that time frame. So we move this forward from Wednesday and go to Thursday. You're still mostly sunny. We go to Friday. We are sunny to partly cloudy. But no, again, no chance for rain here on Friday either. Uh, and then Saturday, we are mostly sunny. Temperatures are going to shortly start to increase as we get to the, uh, toward the weekend, as we get to Saturday and Sunday, uh, either side of 80 degrees here on Saturday, and then generally the middle 80s here on Sunday ahead of this cold front. This cold front is going to come through, we think, late Sunday. So it's going to move through, uh, and there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms depending on the timing of this. I don't know that this is going to be uh, a big rainmaker and judging by recent events that we've had here at the, you know, the, I would kind of side in the corner of uh, less rain because we've been dry for so long. It's going to be tougher to get unless you get a really strong organized system. But this does in fact have a cold front moving toward us here on Sunday with a few scattered P 
p.m. showers and thunderstorms. We'll see how this holds up throughout the week, but I wouldn't hold my breath right now just because it's not, you know, just be, we've been so dry. It's been it's going to be tough to get something here organized uh, to do anything that's worthwhile. But that cold front moves through here on Sunday. So ahead of it, it's going to be warm on Sunday. But then once we get on the other side of that on Monday, we will turn a little bit cooler, uh, most likely back down in the middle 70s again. Um, maybe temporarily, but you still have a little bit of a drop here behind the cold front for Monday in its wake. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for June 5th, 2023. Have a great Monday.